So what exactly is changing here? So um, Zynga has relied on Facebook for most of its players and most of its game. But over the past couple of years, Zynga has steadily built up this separate site, Zynga.com, where you can essentially play games off of Facebook. Up until now, um, you've had to log into that site using your Facebook ID. So it's basically been a separate place to play Zynga games, but still with your Facebook friends. Um, the news today is that they're removing that requirement to log into Facebook. So essentially, it's going to be the first time that you're going to be able to play Zynga games with people, you know, outside of your friend network. So what does this mean for Zynga's relationship with Facebook? Well, uh, it's it's always been a complicated relationship. Right, and I, some yeah. of the games are exclusive to Facebook, right? That's right, and they've relied on one another for a lot of revenue. Zynga, you know, built its whole business around Facebook and kind of the captivity of those users there and their desire to play games. Um, and Facebook, in turn, has, has benefited a lot from Zynga over the years. They, they keep those users on the site and doing things and buying things on the site. Um, but steadily, it sort of hurt both people. Zynga was slow to get to mobile, where a lot of people are playing games now. Zynga's been slow to compete with other kind of upstart game makers. Um, and Facebook has be became too reliant on Zynga also for revenue. So the two are starting to part ways. This is kind of an important um, fork in the road for them. Zynga is now going to have its own web-based group of users who are playing games on Zynga and away from Facebook. Now, Zynga is in the middle of a big turnaround. You know, the stock's still down 75% over the last year. How does this play into Mark Pincus is the CEO's plans. So when you look at um, Zynga's financials, um, the vast majority of the revenue comes from Facebook games, essentially. Um, that is set to slow down. And that is hurting its stock price, and that hurt, is hurting its outlook. Zynga needs to find new sources of revenue right now. There's a few different ways that they're doing this. One is mobile. They're you know, rallying the troops around creating great games for smartphones and tablets. Um, that's happening maybe a little slower than they like. Um, another is real money gambling. That, you know, they're looking at regulations in different countries, including the U.S., on where they can let players uh, gamble real time and real money. Um, the third and kind of, you know, the one that we're talking about today is Zynga.com, this separate games portal. It's been a little bit slow to take off. Um, this is probably an important step for establishing this separate independent source of revenue uh, for Zynga.com. Now, what's interesting is that, you know, Electronic Arts is their main competitor. CEO John Riccatello recently stepped down and, you know, it makes you wonder who is doing good in the gaming business if EA and Zynga are, are troubled. It's an, it's, a, it's an industry that's definitely in a state of flux. Zynga was the hot thing a few years ago. Uh, people started seeing what Zynga was doing with social games and social network gaming. Um, and a lot of people left the console business that you know EA is dominant in and went into online social games. Um, I, I think that a lot of people are starting to shift from the web-based social games now to mobile games. So there's a lot of flux going on. There's not a whole lot of games outside of like Angry Birds that have been a big hit lately. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what Zynga does. It's going to be interesting to see you know, what, what the new CEO at EA will decide as the future of gaming.